The service crew is a football firm affiliated with Leeds United that was created in 1974. The service crew would ride these trains instead of the heavily policed football chartered trains, which were named after the trains that brought the firm to away matches. The pubs in the vicinity of Leeds Corn Exchange and Calls, including the Star and Garter, the Scotsman, the Regent, Robin Hood, the Duncan, the Nags Head and the Snake Pit, have long been connected with the service crew. The Black Lion, the Whip, and Giacomelli's were the primary pubs by 1981. The service crew was a well-known firm not only in England but throughout Europe. Leeds's reputation for hooliganism was so terrible that in 1987, non-league club Telford United refused to visit Leeds in an FA Cup third-round fixture, instead playing at neighbouring West Bromwich Albion. The following is an historic view of the service crew's history. It doesn't glorify or condemn the LSC, I merely write what I have learnt or been told over my years of expertise on the matter of football hooligans. There will no doubt be many more events than I write about but this is all I know. Some of their other well-known incidents include 1975 Leeds v Bayern Munich, Paris. Following the 1975 European Cup finals, the service crew was involved in a big scrap. Leeds fans removed seats from the Parc des Princes stands and threw them onto the ground after two penalty requests were denied down in a 2-0 loss to Bayern Munich. As a result, Leeds would be the first English club to be barred from European competition. Nineteen seventy seven Wolves v Leeds. The service crew get a big shock at a Boxing Day fixture in the Wolves South Bank, getting attacked and surrounded by hordes of Wolves fans. Eventually the police line breaks and the service crew have to flee the scene. A rare setback for the LSC. Nineteen seventy eight Leeds v Man City. Some Man City fans try to take the Leeds home end the cop, but are soon dispelled. Lots of trouble after the match with Leeds hooligans looking for revenge, by bricking every Man City coach and ambushing away fans. Nineteen seventy eight Birmingham v Leeds. Blues fans attack police lines with missiles. Fifteen arrests. Leeds fans fight back after being attacked and a day of chaos ensues. 1981 Swansea v Leeds. Leeds service crew take over Swansea, with 8,000 fans making the journey from Yorkshire. Trouble all day with the Jacks trying to ambush small pockets of Leeds but finding Leeds's numbers just too big. Leeds even try to burn down the Swansea, double-decker stand. 1982 Grimsby v Leeds. At the 1982-83 season, some Leeds fans went on an orgy of drinking, robbing, and fighting in Cleethorpes, where 600 Leeds fans had remained the night before the match, at Grimsby on August 28. 1982 West Brom v Leeds. Locals claim this was the worst trouble ever seen at the Hawthorns with one Baggies supporter stating, I've never been more scared at a game as I was seeing Leeds fans throw everything they could at the thin blue line until the perimeter fence crumbled and hundreds of Leeds fans invaded the pitch in the second half. It's the first time I can recall seeing full-scale fighting outside the ground in 37 years of following the baggies. This tough-looking much older baggy fan standing next to me said you'll be okay kid, as they'll never take the brummy and as I looked around half the brummy had disappeared. 1982 Chelsea v Leeds. Serious disorder mainly from the Chelsea headhunters, invading the pitch several times trying to get at the Leeds, who were hardly innocent victims in a whole day of destruction. 1983 Derby v Leeds. Derby fan, Brad, recalls. Derby v Leeds was absolute carnage that year, all Derby's fault for putting Derby and Leeds in same end. Soon as we got in and Derby's below us throwing coins and taunting Leeds, I knew what was gonna happen, seats were chucked on pitch. 1984 Huddersfield v Leeds. Trouble in the ground with the second half being delayed for 10 minutes due to fighting and missiles being thrown onto the pitch. 
20 people including three policemen were injured in what a senior police official called, a terrifying day of violence, which culminated with running battles in the Leeds Road. nineteen eighty five birmingham v leeds a fourteen year old child was killed in nineteen eighty five at st andrews stadium after a wall fell due to leeds fans being pressed up against it the disturbance involved an estimated one thousand plus people with about one hundred police officers hurt ninety six police officers were also injured trying to stop the mayhem which was later described by a judge as more like the Battle of Agincourt than a football match. 1986 Bradford v Leeds, Odsall Riot. A grim event less than a year after the Bradford fire that resulted in 56 people dead and 250 people injured, lots of them with serious burns. Leeds fans arrived at the temporary Bradford Stadium in large numbers totally outnumbering the police, and a day of mayhem ensued. Leeds fans even turned over a chip van and set fire to it. Nineteen eighty nine Middlesbrough v Leeds. Leeds fans tried to take the borough end and were removed by the police for safety reasons. Unfortunately, they put them in the already overcrowded away end, causing many injuries. Considering it was only six months after Hillsborough, it's quite incredible really. Just shows how thick the police were back in the day. 1990 Bournemouth v Leeds. Leeds United played AFC Bournemouth in the final game of the 1989-92nd division season on May 5, 1990. If they win, they will win the second division title and return to the top flight after an eight-year absence. Leeds won 1-0, although the victory was tarnished by a series of vandalism attacks on town centre bars and shops, as well as clashes between hooligans and police officials. There were 104 arrests and 12 police officers hurt. 1990 Man City v Leeds. 500 service crew try to take the Man City home end and are ejected by the police. Lots of trouble before, during and after the match. Led to a four-match fan ban for Leeds. 1993 Hibernian v Leeds United, Easter Road. The CCS otherwise known as the Capital Service City, of Scottish team Hibernian, fought with Leeds boys before and after the game in the High Street, Rose Street and outside Waverley Station, there were 22 arrests and one Leeds fan admitted to hospital with serious head injuries. 1997 Leeds v Man United. Serious disorder breaks out when Leeds hooligans attack Manchester's Red Army, who are also well up for a fight. Mounted police lose control for a while and the battle continues for many hours. 2005 Leeds v Cardiff. Another infamous affair with both firms intent on mastering the other. A very busy day for the Yorkshire police force. 2007 Leeds v Ipswich. On the 28th of April 2007, during the championship game at Elland Road with Ipswich, about 200 home fans spilled onto the pitch and forced a 30-minute delay after a late Ipswich equaliser all but sealed Leeds' relegation to League One. 100 of them ran toward the southeast stand where the away supporters were located. In January 2008-13 Leeds United fans were handed football banning orders totaling 45 years after they pleaded guilty to a fray in connection with the pitch invasion. 2007 Leeds v Millwall Trouble flared outside Elland Road before and after the game between Leeds United and Millwall. 
Police officers on horseback charged at Leeds fans waiting outside Elland Road near the Billy Bremner statue as three double-decker buses filled with Millwall supporters pulled up at around 2.15pm. Windows and doors on the buses were put through by yobs on board as they tried to goad watching Leeds fans into confrontation. Since then, there have been sporadic incidents involving the LSC but police managing to keep a lid on it. If you know of other events, let me know in the comments and I will update the video in the future. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe as it helps the channel grow.